Hello, 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 and welcome back to City Skylines 2. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and we're having some congestion problems. I don't, I don't think I planned these roads very well. They seem to be having a hard time getting on and off from this road because we've got this kind of like main road, Pearl Street, that goes down here, connects to our two bridges. And then we've got this kind of, it's not a main road, but it kind of is a main road because it's like, it is one of the only two ways to get into this kind of division over here. So you have all of these houses, you've got that giant high school, you've got the cemetery, you've got all of these really interesting buildings, elementary school, and just like the regular houses over here. But there's only two ways into this neighborhood and this main road and then that one over there. This one, traffic is doing slightly better, but still not great. I think the main problem is... To be fair, I don't actually know what the main problem is. Things are getting really trapped up here. People trying to turn on this corner. People are getting trapped up here. I think people trying to go into these businesses are maybe slowing things down as well. What I do think we need is possibly some roundabouts. Now, people aren't going to be super happy about this because it does mean getting rid of some of those businesses. Oh, look at this guy back here. These two are like, oh, phew, we didn't get destroyed. Uh... I'm sorry guys, probably we're gonna get rid of you because this is a problem. Where are you trying to go? People are, I don't know actually. Like why aren't you going? This minivan, the Mullins family, what are you doing? Okay, there's a person there. Yeah, yield to them. But then you need to, you need to actually drive at some point? Or are you not going because you want to go right and there's nowhere to go because we still have major traffic problems here. Oh, there's major traffic problems everywhere. This whole area, I mean, I've destroyed all of those businesses. Although people are not begging for me to put them back in, so maybe it was fine. We do slightly smaller roundabouts. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're getting rid of so many things in our neighborhoods, but I don't really know what else there is to do. I think, let's delete that. I know, now you have no roads. I know, I'll fix it, I promise. All right, come in this way. Oh no, I know, I know, I know, we're getting there. And then this is gonna come over here though, onto the roundabout, I think that's better. Things need to connect onto the roundabout, not onto the random streets in random directions. Is that better? No, you guys are all mad. You don't have a... Why are you mad? Condemned. It's in the wrong zone. Oh, because we broke the zoning, maybe. It's not condemned. You're fine. No, now you're in the wrong zone. This is the right zone. Uh, do you know what? I don't know what your problem is. You just do whatever it is that you want to do, I guess. And maybe I'll put a park in or something. There. There you go. Have a park. Does that make you happier? We do have some areas where they could definitely use more parks. What's over here? Oh, this is our industrial district. Now, I feel like our industrial district doesn't really need a park, but when people are working, wouldn't it be nice, not if they had a dog park, but if they could go to like a little plaza, you know, like in the middle of their work day, head down to the local little plaza thing and have your lunch break there. It's slightly nicer than maybe having your, your lunch break in like your factory or into the landfill. Also, I don't think this was well thought through. My landfill is absolutely tiny i never expanded the borders on it at all i don't think that's going to go very well do you know what it's a first place right it it doesn't have to be perfect what are you having problems here now i mean there is double the roundabout but oh no it's definitely the shops okay we have to because yeah people are coming in and out of the shops and it's actually holding everybody up so this needs to be unzoned dezoned this sorry it is condemned you're gonna need to leave vacate the premises immediately people so sorry, but you gotta go. Oh no, wasn't it our, yeah, go nuts, donuts. They just, are they actually too fair? They haven't turned it around. They're still having none of customers, but go nuts, donuts. It's time to close up, okay? You're going, we're not having buildings there anymore. Things are, yeah, being demolished. So sorry, I mean, it's not ideal, obviously, but I don't know what else to tell you, okay? We've gotta clear up this road. The best way to do that is not having these businesses along here. I'm gonna help you out. Just go a little faster. So sorry. So sorry, I hope you were able to take your belongings out before, you know, destruction here. But tough cookies, I think, because it just needs to go. Donuts, 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 you're gone. Also, maybe you guys as well. Don't know what your problem is, and I'm tired of thinking about it, so goodbye. Also, that park's now in a really weird spot, but do you know what? It is what it is. Okay. We do not need any more schools, because things are going just fine over there. They have very low enrollment anyways. What we definitely need is to do more expanding. Now, your way out there, and what is this? This is just more low density. We've got a wastewater treatment plant there and the water pumping station. The wastewater treatment plant, oh, that's fine. It's just more things that are contributing to our water. We've got our bus station. 
And did we actually stick a bus line in? I feel like we did not. We did not put a bus line in. We've got some bus stops though, it looks like. Okay, so I did put bus stops in, but we didn't draw our line. So we're gonna need to put our bus lines in. So let's do a nice little blue line. Start here. Come around to here. This is gonna be one of the ones where we actually do go back on ourselves a bit. Looped around the block. It's good. Add a new waypoint there, new waypoint there. Come touch that one. Then we need to probably get into the other part of the city just so that you're feeling included. So come over here. I don't think everywhere, but definitely we need to go at least to the secondary school, which you have done now. And then over here to the primary school. Can we complete our loop? Complete loop. There we go. And let's do another color. So let's put in a yellow line, but we will start the yellow line from over in the industrial district. So come over to here. Oh, maybe we can go down this way, down to that one. Loop back on yourself to this one. And then we'll kind of come into the neighborhood. Come down this street over here and I don't know then maybe go back on yourself we just we don't need them to be able to go everywhere on the same bus but we do need the buses to kind of touch in at different places so there there's the two bus lines I think that just about covers everywhere for now so let's leave it until we expand a bit more pollution's blowing off that way it's very wintry and snowy here now over here we don't have we've got oh we actually do have a bit of commercial over here and we've got our offices, but nobody is actually requiring those offices yet. Let's just put in some more low-density housing. It's what the people really want, so let's give the people what they really want. No, I think let's expand off into this direction. Let's maybe get... We just get all of those tiles? Let's do that. That's a lot of money. Oh my goodness! Did we know we were so broke? Oh, it's fine. We've, we've upgraded to a <laughs> tiny town. And we've got another injection of cash. Now, this is a rail line. So, to build over on the other side... We may need a bridge to just get traffic over. We have also put this bridge in. It kind of feels like we need a forestry over here. There's quite a lot of trees. We could put the forestry over here though, which actually seems like it could be a very good idea because we do have specialized industries. Now the specialized industry, things like forestry, we obviously have to put that in where there's a forest. There's a fairly good forest here. I mean, that one is better to be fair, but it's okay. We can want chickens somewhere, but I'm not sure where we want those either. Probably not upwind of our town, but maybe we'll have to go for that. Or we could do some vegetable farming over here later on. We'll have to wait and see when we get to expand over there. I think, let's take... How big of a road are you? It's a four-lane road. Let's bring you over this way and over the train line. Over the train. Let's actually turn a bit. And then we need to go back down to ground level. And now we've expanded over to here. So can let's get that road so it could potentially could go off that way. And then we'll take another one going off this way and we're gonna make it kind of go all the way around. I do want to have somewhere where we can have trains later on. This is going to be sort of residentially again. So I'll probably put in a large roundabout here and then we can take maybe two smaller roads coming off from our roundabout over to here. And then we could just kind of not grid this up, but you know what I mean. Like we're gonna we're gonna make it pretty. We're gonna do some courtyards. Like we go in and then oh I need I think I want the straight roads now. Just to save us from some headaches. I want like a boulevardy roundy boaty doodah. That's yeah, that's that's a boulevardy roundabouty doodah. We're just going for it. We're gridding it up. This is suburbia. And suburbia, you know, sometimes it's really easy to get lost. There's just things all over the place, and that's kind of what I'm going for, I think. Now that's quite close to the trains. I don't know if people would really super love living over there. Oh no, people are really wanting commercial. They're definitely not super pleased that I got rid of all that commercial, but I think traffic is actually flowing better now. We may not even need these two silly roundabouts. In fact, I think it'd be a good idea to clean this whole area up a bit. Sorry, I know, I know, I know I'm the worst. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong street. We need this one. Yes, yes, yes. Nobody's connected to anything. I can see that. Put it back over here. We do want a roundabout in. Put a big roundabout there. Yes. And then we're going to pull off a two-lane road over to this direction. Yes, yes, yes. We're trying to get you hooked back up. There. See? Everything's pr probably fine. Uh, well, you're saying you're condemned, but you're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. There's a lot of yellow buses around. That yellow bus route. I think we need something to uh, break up the service a bit so people aren't like... You don't need that many buses in a row. Spread yourself out. 
then the third service out. You know when people, when they get on the bus and then it waits for a long time and then it moves on? That's what we need right here. There's too many buses all together. And I don't see any blue line buses. Oh, they're here, all of them together. This doesn't make any sense. It's not the best choice. Sort yourselves out. Okay, we have this new area. We have a small need for, well, actually an ever-growing need for our low density residential, which is what we wanted to put over here anyways. So let's get some of that going in. But we're also going to need, oh, we could do the mixed housing with the commercial on the bottom. I do love that. Let's make a little street here where it has the commercial on the bottom and then the bigger apartments above. And maybe some medium density housing out here. We'll do some more low density in here. People want stuff. Oh, oh no, the pipe problem. Okay, it's fine. I know how to deal with the pipe problem now, which I didn't before. Well, once upon a time, I didn't know how to do it, but I do now. Okay, so I do now. Oh, wait, these bridges have electrical pipes. Oh, that's nice. So they're just missing these pipes. Now you were fine because you have that on that side. Interesting, but that's actually not connected to this line. Okay, well, we can fix that now. So let's grab both of these. We're gonna grab it from over here somewhere. Come this direction. Then we're going to go down, under, and then back up to connect that up. And I think we'll just do the same over here. We may as well have it all connected. I don't think there's any reason not to. There you go. Everyone should be good, back on the grid. Now this is our green city, or at least the green city is what we're hoping for. Now you can click on these and they can actually get an upgrade. So we could put solar panels on the bottom of them. People love that, okay. Good, solar panels are great. Yeah, we love a bit of solar panel. And okay, yes, the upkeep is going to be a bit more. Now we could do the advanced rotor system on them as well, but let's save that upgrade for when we need it. Right now, power seems to be fine. Now people don't have any internet service and they're not happy about that. We have unlocked the radio mast. This will give them some mobile data and they'll be happy to hear about that. It does need a road and that means we are going to have to sacrifice some houses. Really sorry, but it's a sacrifice we actually do have to make because people need, they, well, they need their internet, right? They need their internet. We put some over here. The main road is probably fine. You're gonna need it for your businesses over there. We're gonna need it way out here in these businesses. I think we could put them on the main road though because we're not gonna be putting really anything else in the main road, so we may as well put that. Have a bit of internet. Now, if you live more outskirty of town, yeah, it's not the best internet service in the world, but it's better than nothing. Now, the other thing would be nice would be having some mail. People probably want to be able to get their mail. Even though they live out here, they still want to receive mail from loved ones and so on. So let's stick a post office in there and we're gonna put some mailboxes around. Now you guys are fairly sorted for your mailbox, but I'm gonna put one in there anyways. You guys are feeling super neglected over here. But we don't, have to want, we don't want them to have to go too far to get their mail. Businesses also need a place to get their mail. That's another service we're providing for our people. It should make them happy. Now the CRC is incredibly noisy. Fine, do you know what? I don't know what else I can do about that. It's just, it is noisy. This is a noisy city. We are losing a lot of money though. I think we have too much upkeep for services and not enough people. We definitely need more, more, more people coming in, more something. We've got a bit of commercial, but there's still huge, huge, huge demands for commercial. Let's make this road along here, a bit of commercial space and possibly down along here could be a high street. Weird high street though, but if the people want it, we will build it. People are not very happy with healthcare and to be fair, some of these places are very far away from healthcare. So it might be worthwhile just putting in a few more clinics just to have them. I mean, when we expand, it will be good to have anyway. So let's just do it before they complain too, too much. Now, if they are in the office, they may, or in the factory, they may have trouble reaching the healthcare, but that's, that's just how it is, I guess. I mean, looking around our city at the moment, nobody is complaining, which is pretty impressive. I feel like we need to be called like the Tri-City or something. We've got three cities separated by the three bits of river. Perhaps it's time, I don't, we don't have very much population. A college, it seems a bit too early when you're under like 5,000 because no one's going to be using it. So maybe we wait on that, but I do kind of want to get a train in. If we had a train, more people would actually be able to come and live in our town. And that, that excites me. So maybe we need a rail yard. Now it needs a road, but it also needs to actually get to the trains, I think. Maybe we need to put in, hmm. I don't, oh, wait, what is this? 
Because I mean, like, this looks like the perfect spot for a rail yard. I'm kind of confused. It's very end of the junction, sort of. Does this fit on top of there? Perhaps it, we'd have to put it further out, though, and then connect those lines up. Hmm. All right, may have, may have put the rails in a bit too quickly, honestly. We're not quite ready, I don't think, to buy all those tiles. We need to get these tiles filled up a bit more, which means probably demolishing a few houses so we can get some roads in over here. They're not going to be super happy about that, are they? Probably not. I suppose we could wait for one of them to burn down and then <laughs> try to expand. We could also go out onto this side of the highway. This area over here is super not busy, which is good. Oh, Joe, you know we don't have over here though is also buses. We are going to need to get in some bus stops over on this side. Is that enough? They feel satisfied with that many. And let's do a nice hot pink-ish purple, whatever color this is. Okay, so the bus comes over there and then it comes all the way over to here. It needs to make a few stops, I suppose. And then back that way. It needs to be able to get people to the primary school and to the secondary school. And we'll come around this way as well and then off into the industrial district over to this bus junction and then back over here to finish it off. Complete the route. The route is completed. I think that's okay. It's not the best, but it allows these people to have a bit of buses over there. So many open jobs, so few workers, what gives? Well, we need more people to live here, that's the thing. And you say so many jobs, but people are demanding more and more commercial. Are you sure that's what you really want? I mean, they seem to think it is, so. Although, this is all zoned for commercial. I guess they just, they don't want this medium density housing. We'll just leave it, eventually they might want it. I have hope that one day they, they will actually want the things I'm trying to offer them. Today might not be that day, but one day will be come down this way. We could do like a little shopping center down over here, maybe. I don't know. And what about a nice little spiral? That is 10 different kinds of insane. Well, we'll go through it like that. And I think that makes it okay. Yeah, I think that makes it okay. Maybe even a little roundabout in here and there just to make it less insane or maybe more insane. I'm not really sure. All right, they want commercial. Let's give the people commercial. This is a nice little shopping district. Come over here. All the shops can be enjoyed. Yeah, that, that sounds great. And if you want, you could walk your dog after enjoying the shops. Oh, we need more parks over here as well. Sorry, did I forget to give you any parks? How about a nice plaza? There you go. Plaza. Also, you guys could use some parks over here. These are the offices. I feel like the offices are, is where the plazas should actually be. Not that anyone's putting a an office in. They have zero to desire whatsoever to have that. I think it's the lack of education. I think if we, got, if we do put in a college, then people will go and work in offices. We'll have... You know, more intelligent people. Oh no, it's happening here again. Well, oh, that's massively bogged down. Why is that? Where are you guys trying to go? Would be great maybe if they weren't parking on the streets everywhere. Or maybe these streets just need to be bigger. It's a single lane. There's two lanes going down into one lane. But they could just go straight through, but it never seems to be happening. And the buses seem to be clogging up the system, which is the opposite of what buses are supposed to be doing. They're supposed to be improving the system. They don't seem to be improving the system at all. Plus, there's always so many of them together. Like, what's with the two blue buses, right? There's not even a single car in between the two of you. Why? Why are you like this? <laughs> also, this park. Oh, it's a dog park. Okay. It's less weird. Still weird, though. Oh, yeah, we did get a new building. The Corundum Condos. Where should we put it over in this area? I think yes. I think yes. It'll be over here. That's nice. Oh, right next to the medical clinic. That's good. I think that's good. <laughs> All right. People want more houses. But they have houses. They just need to just choose to move into apartments. Stop wanting these ones. Low density. Start wanting more condo -y type things. Townhouses. Apartment buildings. Look, these ones are actually even available. They are abandoned. How sad. Go live in an apartment. There's perfectly good houses right here. We have perfectly good houses at home. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. There's, there's tons of room for people to live in here. Ooh, we have an overabundance of electricity, so we're actually selling it. That is super good news. Ah, oh, never thought we'd see the day. They don't have enough workers over here. We actually do have a problem with the number of people we have, but I'm not finding a good way to increase that either. So... We are running out of vehicles. Apparently there's too many buses out and about. Look, the blue line, but things are getting quite clogged up in here. There's only two, there's not enough people using the buses either. Bus line, don't we have three lines? Oh no, because one of the lines doesn't connect in here. Where's the yellow line? Oh, the usage is awful. <laughs> oh no, and there's only one bus for the pink line. That doesn't feel like enough. I mean, it only has three passengers to be fair. The usage is higher, though, because you only have the one bus. Okay. I want the yellow bus stop, though. 
to be connected over here. I'm not sure how we do that. Where are you at, yellow bus line? That's quite expensive, these tickets. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe if we lower the ticket prices for our three lines, then we would have a better chance at getting people to actually use them. Because to be fair, eight, eight pounds is a lot. Three is better. Hopefully that sorts it out a bit. What's happening over here? Oh no, a hearse has been called. Oh man. Oh, and a hearse has been called over there as well. People are dying left, right, and center. But you know what? Our happiness in our city is actually very good. Although high taxes and the unreliable healthcare are giving us minus one each. But the reliable mail service, spacious homes, the wealth, the entertainment, internet service, all good. Leisure your time and good education services. So we just need to sort out, I guess, the high taxes. I mean, to be fair, the taxes I don't feel like are paying our bills. Maybe that's why no one wants to come and live here. The taxes are too high. Let's try the opposite approach. Let's make the taxes lucky number seven for everybody. And then maybe people will come. Maybe people will move in then. There'll be more demand where the taxes are cheaper. I, I raised the taxes, but I think that was the opposite of what we need to be doing. We need to be lowering taxes. Get more people in. And then when they're here and they're already settled here, then we raise the taxes on them, huh? No? Evil? Well, let's we'll try not to be evil, but we never know. All right, this is still four lanes here. So I think let's grab a little bit of road, a bit of four lane road, and we're gonna take it this way. And let's go over the rail tracks. I think that should be fine. And lower that back down to the road. And we're gonna have something out here. What? I don't know yet. Ooh, can we do any of the other industries out here? Because currently we would be losing money because we're not making anything ourselves. Like we're not doing any of our own timber. We're not doing any of our own food production. We probably want to be doing that. I think this would be a great spot to do some farming. We just need to buy those tiles. That's a lot of our money. That's, that's okay. It's all right, it's all right, it's fine. <laughs> right, where is the very good spot? It's right in here. So I think there's probably enough room for three farms maybe. Depends on how the roads go. I think the four lane road would be okay as well. Let's take them off going this way. Oh, we might be able to connect them up to that highway as well. So let's just go to here. And then industry. This would be a good place for animals, but it's also gonna be a good place for food. Okay, now we just need to go in and change these. All right, we've got a chicken farm. We've got a vegetable farm and we've got a wheat farm. Those have gone in way over here, which is kind of far away from where everybody lives. So we could put a bunch of houses around here. We do have that sneaking up demand for low density residential. I don't know if people necessarily want to live this close to farms, but if they don't want to live this close to farms, then they shouldn't move this close to farms. You know, if, if they choose to come onto these houses, then I feel like that's on them, you know? The option was given and they chose it. We're just gonna put roads in kind of wherever. I think it's fine. This is gonna be, there's gonna be tons of housing over here. People are gonna be super happy. Like some farm shops, I don't know, all sorts of things. Currently though, they just want low density housing. And so we're gonna give them low density housing. Give the people what they want, right? Do you know what we need? I think we need some better parks. Let's see if we can upgrade. That's park maintenance. We unlock that. Ooh, large parks. Actually, we you know what we have. We can do both. We can do large parks and sports parks. And then let's come back in. I think over here needs some sports parks. A skate park would be great. How about a skate park in, skate park in there? And a large plaza. Oh, that's really massive. Large playground. Oh, the playgrounds are so tiny. Put a little playground in there. It's nice. A large city park. Put a large city park in there. Oh, that's a good spot for it. Okay, people over here should be quite happy. Now, as far as fire goes, fire rescue, they have basically none. We're going to need to put in a firehouse. Oh, and we've leveled up to Boomtown. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, we're moving ahead nicely. We've got quite a bit more money, which is great because we were getting a little low, just a little bit. And we probably want another police station as well. Just stick that over on this side, I think. Although actually, the security seemed fine, but we only have the two police stations. So I think having another one's good. Although it looks like we have a bit of crime on this side we may need to contend with. Now, do you know what? No one's even building a house. There. Let's just put in a, another police station. Think that'll keep people happier. As far as fire goes, they also are feeling a bit far away from a firehouse. Maybe down over here would help them. It's a, Yeah, it's not close to that, but we're going to be expanding over this way anyways later on. So having the three firehouses, I think is not a bad thing school-wise you guys are close to a school but nobody else is 
We don't have a ton of people living over here just yet, but that's going to change. Eventually, people are going to want to live in these places. I mean, not now, but eventually, right? S somebody, somebody's going to want to come live in these places. We're going to put a school in there as well. Now, those are just primary schools, but if we connect them to the bus network, there's no reason why people in this big boom town of ours, they couldn't take the bus over all the way over. I mean, maybe we could do, oh, we have a bus station there, actually. Oh, and there's that bus garage thing over there as well. We just need another couple of shelters. So we could put one out by the, put a bus shelter out by the farms. Put one over by the primary school. How about a nice orange line? Orange line going in. Oh, I'd like to think it to start here, I think again. Create a new route starting here. Come over, it's a weird spot to come over. Come here first to the farm. Here, there, loop around here, back over there. And then I think think maybe one into this area over here to the secondary school down over maybe into the industrial area because people might need to work and then all the way back i think complete the route we now have the orange route has gone in the other thing we're gonna need to make sure we put in every time is our mailboxes because currently these people cannot get their mail which would be a bit unfortunate there we go good mail service everywhere fantastic oh do you know what i don't know if they have internet access either not really a little bit but not perfectly so we need to just put another tower in over here yep sorry you have to look at it but i don't know what else i can tell you that's just how it's gonna have to be and they're happy they've got good internet service and this boom town is flourishing but i think we are just about out of video time for today and i am very happy with all the progress that we've been making and i hope that you're enjoying it as much as i am and if you are enjoying it please consider subscribing and don't forget to leave a like and i'll see you next time take care goodbye